Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Emily, your travel advisor. Finally, our family had a vacation together after over two years of being cooped up during the pandemic. Our family decided to go to Lake Tahoe for the summer. Lake Tahoe, here we come! Lake Tahoe's beauty is no secret. The water in Lake Tahoe is 99.994% pure according to Tahoe Fund and it is considered one of the purest large lakes in the world. The largest alpine lake in North America at 6,225 feet, it straddles the state line between California, two-thirds of the lake, and Nevada, a third of the lake. Lake Tahoe was formed about two million years ago and is known for the clarity of its waters and the panoramic view of its surrounding mountains on all sides. The major tourism attraction in both Nevada and California, home to winter sports, summer outdoor recreations, and scenery enjoyed throughout the year. There's a lot of fun things to do at Lake Tahoe, so let's go ahead and explore.
scraping off the sides of mountains and digging out the bay. On the mountain sides ahead, you'll notice lateral scars, gigantic scratches made by massive boulders locked in the ice as it inched its way towards the lake. Shiny appearance on the rock face was also caused by the ice. It's called glacial polish. Looking over on the left, the ridge of land that starts at equal point and rises to meet the mountains is known as a moraine. A glacial moraine is formed by debris, rock on. Just to the south of that ridge is Cascade Lake, and further south, Fallen Leaf Lake. They, like Emerald Bay, were formed by glaciers. Had the glacier that formed this bay been less active? Had it done less in its power of gouging and scraping? Had it not done the job that it did, Emerald Bay would be a lake. Once again, looking ahead just to the last six, a rock slide closed the road for a short time. But in 1955, on Christmas Eve, Mother Nature let go. And in an instant, a tremendous 600-foot avalanche had obliterated the road. It took more than a year to blast out a new roadway. And to this day, local people still don't completely trust the surface tension of that rock face and tend to drive past the area in a hurry. By the way, that slide area is on the lower part of one of Maggie's Peaks, named after the daughter of a previous landowner here in Emerald Bay. See the cars up there? That's the, that's the really sketchy road. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. that. I, was like, oh. I was just glad I was driving. <laughs> Construction began in the fall of 1928, with the workers laying the main foundation before the winter snows came. The other side. They returned to North America. On her Scandinavian trip, Mrs. Knight had also planned to purchase antique furniture for her castle. Her intent was to furnish the castle with original pieces, but the ones she most wanted were historical, and the various Scandinavian countries would not allow them to be removed. Well, she wanted them to look the same. So Mrs. Knight had craftsmen working from photographs and sketches duplicate the articles she wanted. Their work was so skillful that collectors today have difficulty in distinguishing them from the originals. This 34-room summer cottage is U-shaped with two wings going off the back of the castle and forming a courtyard. The roofs of these wings are lead sheathed and covered with sod on which grass and wildflowers grow, creating natural insulation, a characteristic feature of old Scandinavian design. The second floor is devoted mainly to guest bedrooms, except p.m. every half hour. By the way, to the left of the castle,
That's neat. Yeah, we're nice.
guys like this video please give it a thumbs up a like share and please subscribe to my channel this is emily thank you for watching safe travels everyone and let's go places